we have a, a wealth of ALK inhibitors. Uh, and that also has been a, a wonderful development for, for many general oncologists who don't exclusively treat lung cancer patients, they may have more choices of ALK inhibitors than they have ALK patients. Uh, and that's a great problem to have. Uh, currently, you know, we have some very, uh, good second generation, uh, ALK inhibitors that have very modest toxicity, uh, such as alactinib and brigatinib. Uh, and I think many oncologists like to use those agents. However, the next generation of ALK inhibitors, um, uh, in the third generation, such as, uh, lorlatinib really seem to have very, uh, good effect, uh, in the central nervous system in particular and have very good effect even when there are resistance mutations present. Uh, so for some patients, uh, starting with lorlatinib may be the right choice. Uh, of course, it has, I think, a bit more toxicity. Uh, and so having an informed discussion with the patient uh, about the choice and about the balance between efficacy and toxicity, uh, I think is going to be essential to make sure that every patient gets the drug that's just right for them.